Hey everybody, it's Azure Sword One, and I'm sorry that I did not make a review for Naruto Chapter 623, but I was being a lazy bastard. And also, it was one of those chapters that you could review it in like three minutes, and you know, I didn't feel like making a, a, a separate review for that. I'm just gonna put the two together. So for 623, Hashirama and Madara train together, they play together, they learn their jutsu together. They both become strong, and they reveal to each other that they've both lost brothers to this ongoing conflict. Hashirama reveals that he lost Itama, and Madara tells him that he lost three brothers out of four to this conflict, and he will do anything to protect Izuna. They climb, they do a training thing where they climb up to the top of this plateau, which eventually will become the Hokage Mount Rushmore and they overlook what will eventually become the village and they make plans for it. They want to create a village with peace and where they can you know, they plan everything out which will eventually happen. So no big surprises there. Eventually though, their respective parents, uh, whose names I cannot remember and I don't really care, they're not important characters, tell them, tell each of them to spy on each other and if need be, kill each other because they know which clan they are from. However, they're friends and they really don't want to. So they meet up at the river and they skip stones and they have painted on special secret messages. In this case, both of you guys run because it's a trap. And their parents figure it out and, you know, they ambush them. And you see both of their dads and both of their little brothers and they're going to duke it out. And that's where the chapter ends. Next chapter is very fast paced. They clash, the parents and the little brothers, they clash, they're gonna start fighting, and they figure out that whoever loses a child first will lose. Because for a split second, they will become flustered, even though their training says that they are supposed to crush their emotions and all that stuff. So instead of attacking each other, the parents throw weapons um, from above towards each other's children to see, you know, one of them will die. But Hashirama and Madara throw rocks and block the weapons. And this is where they kind of, there's a kind of like a fork in the road and Madara decides he's gonna be with his clan. He will do anything to protect his little brother. And if, and he tells Hashirama, look, we're, we're friends and everything, but I'm not gonna put you in f ahead of my family, ahead of my brother. If you do anything to harm my little brother, I will kill you. From from now on, our friendship broken. And next time we meet, it'll be in battle. And that's what happens. It just for like six pages, it is time skip, time skip, time skip, moving very quickly. Where you see them clashing over and over and over again in the battlefield. And we see that the uh, Uchiha are slowly losing. The, the the Senju are getting the upper hand. And many of the Uchiha want peace, and they're willing to defect to the Senju side just because they see how strong the Senju are. And during one of these conflicts, Izuna dies at the hands of Hashirama. Although, to me, it looked like, um, I don't know, maybe I just was reading it too quickly, it looked like Tobirama was using um, uh, the fourth Hokage's Jutsu, the Flying Thunder Guard technique, to kill Izuna. But that might have just been another Uchiha, um, because it is said that Hashirama was the one that gave Izuna the fatal blow that eventually killed him. And that is what completely skews uh, Madara's psyche. During the next battle, his eyes have the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, and he is ready to kick some ass. He tells uh, Hashirama that he no longer trusts him, he took away his brother. And they fight for about 24 hours. No breaks, no hold bar, no holds bar. And Madara loses just barely. Hashirama still needs Tobirama to help him up. He's messed up. And he's about to kill him. Uh, Tobirama's like, let me uh, kill this guy now. And it really reminded me, actually. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have cable. There's a documentary mini series on the History Channel called The Bible. And there is um, a scene I remembered where Saul, the king, has been, you know, for no reason, hunting down David and kill him. Then he, he falls asleep, 
and David is with one of his men and his, I think it's his cousin, and he says, give me the spear, let me just pin this guy to the floor, we'll kill him, it'll all be over. And that's exactly what Toby Ramo is saying, let me just stab him with the sword, it'll, I'll end it. And Hashirama doesn't want to, he looks at his brother like, I dare you to lay a finger on him. It was really scary. Hashirama, he really doesn't want to hurt him. After all this, he still considers him a friend and tells him, it's not futile, we could still go back to being the friends that we were as children. And Madara says, I would love to, but during some point in our lives, our, we, we took separate paths. And after you killed my brother, I can't trust you. And Hashirama tells him, name your price. Whatever you want, what will it take to regain your trust? And Madara says what I expected him to say, and probably the worst thing he could have said. You want to regain my trust? You took away my brother. Now, kill your brother with your own hands in cold blood, or kill yourself. That's what it. That is the price of peace. And I was just like, really? Do you really think he's gonna do it? Do you, what makes you think Hashirama would kill his brother or kill himself? No. No, I just, the chapter ended that way. That's where it ended, that statement. And us, you know, knowing that Toby Rama and Hashirama both become Hokage, we obviously know he's not gonna do it. Though I am curious, um, I am curious about one thing. He just, uh, Izuna dies and he just gets the manga Kyoshari, the eternal manga Kyoshari. My problem is there were two different stories, uh, two. The first, Itachi said, that Madara got them by pluck, just without permission, just plucking Izuna's eyes out of his head. Toby or Obito said that Izuna did it consensually, that he, he let him take his eyes because he loved his brother and wanted him to regain his sight. Which is true! Ugh, they didn't explain it. So that's it for both of those chapters. Um, really, I, I'm not particularly interested in this. Because it's nothing that we haven't already seen, or nothing that we don't already know, or could have guessed ourselves. Now, I want what I want is for important information to be given, and then we go back into the previous flashback of the battle and see how it really went down, because that was looking amazing. And then we go back to the Hokages and with Sasuke and Orochimaru and that kind of thing. That's what I want. That is it for me, and. Um, uh, on a side note, I spent last weekend at Megacon, I, I live in Florida, so, at Megacon, and I had an amazing time. It was actually my very first Megacon. I had never been, I'd been to smaller cons, not to these bigger ones. Holy crap, I spent so much money. I got Ichigo's Bankai Sword, I got Saya's Sword from Blood Plus, I got, um, the entire series for Welcome to the NHK, a few mangas, uh, I got to vi uh, to meet Vic Mignana, I got a picture, a couple of pictures with him and an signed autograph photo, so I had a blast, I went with some friends, I didn't cosplay though, I don't have any costumes and I really don't like cosplay, um, but that's it for me, um, I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Let me know what you guys thought about these last two chapters, let me know what you think is going to happen after this, um, and let me know how you think the battle is going to play out, which is what I'm really interested in. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.